Hey, Richard Knudsen here again, and in this demonstration I want to show you how to create many-to-many -many relationships in Dynamic CRM, but more importantly, you know, what are they good for? What kinds of situations can they help you model? So to think about many-to-many -many relationships, think about all the associations people might have with various organizations. For example, from a CRM account form, like the one you see here, you can click on Contacts and see the simple one-to-many relationship that the account entity has to a contact entity in Dynamic CRM. So that's as fine as far as it goes, but say what if Dave here has relationships apart from that one-to-many relationship with several of these other accounts or organizations. So suppose, for example, that he's on the boards of directors of several of these accounts. Well, if one contact can be on several boards and each board can have several members, that's a many-to-many -many relationship. I'll show you how to create this as a many-to-many -many relationship between contact and this custom entity I've created here for boards of directors. You can see I've already created a few sample records, but if I open up one of their forms, you'll see there's not much here yet other than the name, and in particular there's no way yet to associate a contact with a board, so that's what I'll show you how to do now. And what I'll show you first is the so-called native many-to-many -many relationship approach. And to create one of those, I go to Settings, Customization, and I'll customize an entity like we normally would. And uh, when I'm creating many-to-many -many relationships, those are symmetrical relationships. It doesn't matter which entity I start with. So just for fun, let's start with our Board of Directors entity. And this is referred to as a native many-to-many -many because this uh, feature is exposed right here through the user interface. So I can click on end-to-end -end relationships and click new many-to-many -many relationship. And notice there's no primary and secondary entity here. There's simply the current entity and the other entity. That is, again, it's because it's a symmetrical uh, relationship. So I'll just choose contact. And notice that I have an option here to display these on each of the entities. And I'll go ahead and choose the plural name for each. And then we'll see what that gives us when I create this. And let's uh, get rid of one of these schema name prefixes for each. And we'll go ahead and accept the, uh, the defaults for everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and create this many-to-many -many relationship. And when the relationship is created, that's really all I have to do apart from publishing the customizations because as you'll see unlike one-to-many relationships there's no lookup created what this will do for us here is when I navigate back to the user interface here let's suppose I go to the uh, bonus bikes board of directors form and notice now the implication of creating that many-to-many -many relationship is now I've got this link here for contacts which I can use to associate contacts with this custom entity board. So suppose I choose these six or seven people to associate with uh, this many-to-many -many relationship with this board record. So here's the effectively here's the one-to-many from board to contacts. I'll close that and then I'll go to the active cycle board of directors and I'll do a similar thing but maybe choose slightly different contact records to make the point. So, slightly bigger board here. I can choose some other contact records associated with that board. So we've seen it from the side of the board, but now let's go look at it from the perspective of the contact record. I'll pick on Dave Ross. And now from the contact side, I see that that custom entity, Boards of Directors, is now exposed in the details section. I click Board of Directors. So you can see the many-to-many -many nature of this from here because this contact is associated with two boards, similarly to how we saw each board could have multiple contact records. This is the so-called native many-to-many -many relationship, and its primary advantage is that it's simple, but what's the disadvantage of this? Well, what if I wanted to keep track of some details about a person's membership on a board? Maybe the history of their board membership, or the name, the title, are they the, the chairman of the board, or are they just a, a, a participating member, or maybe their term, you know, the date that they were 
uh, first a member of the board. Well, that is the primary disadvantage of the native many-to-many -many approach because in this approach we don't have any information about that intersection. There's no entity that tracks that for us.